So today I'm going to show you how you can very quickly and easily create this Elmo birthday banner. Um, I actually had a request on one of the chat lines of showing how you can create a birthday banner with images, so that is why I created this one. And I actually did use this for my daughter's second birthday. I, I created it really quickly, so it's not um, exactly the way I wanted it. And I usually tie little bows in between each one of these, um, but I just ran out of time. But I think it turned out pretty cute, and it's pretty versatile as well. Again, um, you once you get the hang of this, you can obviously change this to be um, or fit any theme party that you want. Um, my daughter happens to love Elmo, so that is the theme that I used. I did want to point out one more thing before we get started, that I do have a um, YouTube channel which has a number of different videos. If you subscribe to my channel, I'd be so grateful, as well as like any and all of my videos. Um, but more importantly, I do have um, searching and installing and downloading new fonts. If you do not know how to download and install new fonts, and you like the font that I used in today's video, please watch this video um, to learn how to do that. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. First thing we want to do is go to File, New, Blank Document. We then want to go to Page Layout, click on Margins, and click on Narrow. Okay. Then we want to insert a shape, and we're going to insert a triangle. And then from here, we want to be sure that this is selected, and we want to click on Format. And what we want to do is we want to make this 8.5 by 4.75. Okay. And I have another video on how to make a birthday banner and I use different dimensions and it's totally fine. Whatever you like, whatever your preferences, do that. For this particular one, these are the dimensions that I used. So the first thing we want to do is do a shape fill and we want to make that red. And we want to do a shape outline of this gray. And we want to change the outline weight to a three point font, which is going to stay consistent throughout. Okay. Next thing we want to do is we want to right click on this image and we want to click on copy. We then want to go here and we want to click on paste and you want to do keep source formatting. Now what we want to do is ensure the second image is selected. We want to click on format, we want to click on rotate and we want to do flip vertical. Okay, So now we have two images that are exactly the same. Okay. Um, also, something to note is you might want to move this over to ensure that these lines um, fit perfect. So when you actually use the paper cutter, you only have to cut once across. Um, I did not do that when I made these for my daughters, and I had to do a lot more cutting, which was not uh, um, not my initial intention. Didn't even think about that. So again, you want to line this up to be sure that this top part and this bottom part fit, and then you can simply um, select the image and use the arrow keys on your computer to move that over. All right, finally, we want to make this image, we want to do a shape fill of this light gray, okay? And now what we want to do is we want to um, create sort of these circles in the middle with the E and the M. So what I'm going to do is go back here, and I'm going to go ahead and click on Insert Shape Circle, click anywhere in here, and then we want to ensure this circle is selected. Click on Format, and go over here. We want to make this 3.5 by 3.41. And we want to move this over right in the center, okay? And then what we want to do from here is we want to do a shape fill of this pink. And how I got that pink was I clicked on More Fill Colors, and it was just a standard color, and I believe it's this color right here. And then we want to do a shape outline of white, and we want to do a weight of a six point font. Okay. Now, finally, we want to make that sort of dotted circular line around that. So we want to copy, right click, and do a copy of this shape, right click, and do a paste. But what we want to do is click on format and do a shape fill of no fill. And we want to do a shape outline of this gray. And we want to go to dashes. And we want to do round dots. Okay. Now, if your round dots look more like squares, what you want to do is go to dashes and you want to click on more lines. Over here, it's going to click on format shape. What you want to do is ensure that you click on the cap type of round. Once you do that, it will round that out. Okay, And then from here, we can right click and we can do a 
actually we can just right click. We don't even have to copy again because it's already copied. We can right click and we can just do another paste. Move this over here. And this happens to be format a white fill. And the shape outline is that pink. And then once again, we can do a paste and we can click on format and we can do a shape fill of no fill and the shape outline is white which is what we want and we want to do dashed lines and again we want to do the round dots and I guess of course we want to come over here and do the round okay now what we have to do is we want to go ahead and click on insert text box and we want to do a draw text box and then from here we can do E and then we can highlight this and we want to click on format and do a shape fill of no fill and again this is for that text box so we want to do a no fill on the text box and we want to do a no outline on the text box. We want to go to home and the font I used is KB Reindeer Games and I made this 200. Okay, so from here I can move this and oopsies. And I can obviously go up to this little circular arrow and turn this around. Okay, and from here I can go ahead and click on this text box and do a copy. Click up here and do a paste. Keep source formatting, and obviously I can turn this back around. And I want to make this an M because I'm obviously spelling out Emily. Okay, we are almost there. So from here, um, before we actually add the images, what we want to do is just press enter a number of times and that's going to put us oops, onto a new page. Okay, so from here what we can do is we can go, go do a hold down the CTRL A. Okay, so again, hold the CTRL and then press A and that's con that's that's control all, that's select all. And then you can hold down the CTRL C, which is for copy. And then you can go back up there and we can go to here and I'm not sure why it put that all the way on the other page. Um, but we can do let's just delete this. There we go. I apologize. I don't know why it um, it did that. But so you should be able to very easily just come up here and um, move this around by just doing the space key and a couple enter keys in order to move this to the next page. Um, I hope that made sense. If not, I can make another video a little bit later that's a little bit clearer and a little easier to follow. Um, all right, so from here what we want to do, and let's actually just do, is we want to click on here and we obviously want to make this an I and we want to make this an L for Emily. And then finally, the last thing that we need to do is put in the little images of the Elmo. So what I want to do for that is I want to go over to, um, I like to use Google. If you like to use Bing or Yahoo, feel free. And we're going to type in Elmo Sesame Street, and we're going to type in .png. And the reason why we want a PNG is we want a the background to be transparent. And I do have a video on um, oh, I guess I got rid of it on my channel, my YouTube channel. One of my very first videos I did four years ago um, was working with images in Microsoft Word, and it talks about the differences between a PNG and a regular like JPG or JPEG or GIF. If you might have heard that. And basically what that means is if you get a JPG, do you see how there's like a gray and white um, checkered background? That means the only thing you're going to get is this Elmo image. You're not going to get the white background around it. And that's what you want. So we'll do a save image as, and we already have it, but we'll, no, we'll save it as 
as Elmo one. Okay. And then we can go ahead and go over to here. And Oh, no, that one has a white background. So do you see this has a white background? We, we don't necessarily want that one. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look. Here we go. And then we have here and see how it has that transparent background. We want to do a save picture as. Elmo 2. Okay. And then finally, here's another one. And we can go ahead and do save picture as um, three. Okay. Um, I did have another birthday, Elmo um, birthday. Um, I did have another Elmo um, picture in here of Elmo with a birthday cake. Oh, right here. And I'll show you how we can do this. So this has that white background, but we're going to go ahead and remove that background so you can see how to do that. And we'll do Elmo 4. All right. And again, that was a GIF. If you noticed, this is a .gif rather than the .png of what we had before. So if we click on this one, do a save picture as, we can see this is a .png. Okay. So let's go ahead and go back to Microsoft Word. And we want to click here and we want to do insert picture. And for this one, I think we just inserted Elmo 2. And we want to click here um, to layout options or we can right click and we do wrap text and we say in front of text. And we can go ahead and make this smaller. And let's actually move this over here. And let's go ahead and do insert picture. And let's go ahead and insert our Elmo holding this up. And again, we want to wrap text in front of text. And what I want to do is I want to use this little um, arrow key up here to move him around. And I want to make Elmo look like he's holding the E up. And again, all you have to do is just move the image and you can move it around. And again, now Elmo looks like he's holding that E up. And for the M, I want to insert picture and I want to insert the Elmo jumping out of the cake. Now, again, I want to click here and I want to do in front of text. If you look here, this is what I was talking about with that white background. So what we want to do here is click on remove background. And we want to go all the way to the top to get all the different parts of Elmo. And we want to say keep changes. Okay. Um, the problem with using the remove background is if you notice, and this is why you have to have the Elmo on the gray, is the eyes, um, it, it recognizes that as part of the background, so it'll remove move, um, part of the, the whites of the images. So that's why I typically like to use .pngs rather than just clicking on remove background. Okay. Now finally going over here, um, I did forget to point out that we changed the colors on this. So for the eye, we made this background format, fill shape, we made that yellow. And this was gray. And we want to, we can just keep this white and gray, that's fine. Um, and for this one over here, we did a format and we did a shape fill of this pink. And we made that white and we made the dots red. Actually, we can just leave those, but you can, you can play around with the different colors of, of the dots and play around with the background images and all that. So we went ahead and put the Elmo over here. And then finally, Let's go ahead and insert our picture and let's insert our Elmo dancing. And again, you can right click or you can click on that little area and you wanna say in front of text. And we wanna move him this way. And we wanna obviously make him much smaller and make him look like he is once again holding up the eye. 
But that's how you can very easily make this um, pretty cute Elmo birthday banner. And again, you can obviously make any sort of changes that you want to to this. Um, over here, again, I made the background. I did a format. I did a shape outline of white. And these I made red just so I can make it look exactly like the image I showed you. There we go. Okay. And um, that should look exactly like what I, I put up on um, my YouTube video. So anyway, I hope you found this useful and I hope it was easy enough to follow. If you do have any questions, please uh, feel free to write a comment. And uh, if you have any recommendations or suggestions on additional videos, I love getting suggestions. Thanks so much. And again, please like this video if you found it useful.